Today I'm going to go over how to conduct a shadow analysis or a solar study using ShadeMap. So first, uh, you want to make sure you're zoomed, in, zoomed into street level where you can see buildings. And if that's the case, you will see a little menu here where you can draw a proposed building for development. So I'm going to go ahead and lay out the footprint for this building double click to close it and uh, I'll give it a height in meters a 40 uh, and you can see this orange shadow will now indicate this impact of the shadow for this proposed development and usually when doing a shadow study you want to take a look at the solstice so we'll go for the 21st at 9 a.m. is a common preferred time you can see the impact this building is going to have. Uh, you can look at noon, uh, you can look at 3 p.m. and this also works with the sun exposure feature. So here you can see that this building is going to have an impact on the daylight hours on this street. For example, you see 3.4 hours with that building present. Now I'm going to delete it. And without that building, 9.4 hours, so it's going to have about a six hour impact uh, on June 21st with the amount of sunlight that will be uh, present in this location. Uh, so that's just a quick way to uh, do some solar analysis, um, shadow studies using ShadeMap. Um, and if you have any questions, leave some comments in the video.